the beauty of trend lines is they pretty much tell you exactly when to buy in and to sell out of all your trades. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how a simple trend line and a little patience can be used to make good money trading options. So here we are, we are looking at the SPY, this platform we are in is called TradingView for those of you that normally like to flood the comments of, hey, what platform is this? This is TradingView. If you are interested in signing up, I have a referral link down below in the description. TradingView is free, but should you decide you want to use some of the more advanced features, that link just gives you $15 off should you decide to use that in the future. But going on, these black lines right here, these are trend lines. I drew them myself. See right there. I just click from point to point. If this is your first time seeing TradingView and you want to use it, be sure to check out this video right here where I show how to set it up and use the tools. But going on, I've identified my trend line. I identified it on the four hour and I've come to find that whenever I'm looking at trades on the four hour, for those of you wondering how much time should I get for this trade, two weeks should be an ample amount of time even if you get stuck in something like this right here. And I want to quickly take this time to say I'm not a financial advisor. And this is not financial advice. I, I really just want to take this time to make this as simple as possible to give a strategy that I've found that works. So going on, uh, you can see that pretty much since the beginning of January or since the beginning of the year, end of January this year, the SPY has been trading between this range. And you probably wouldn't have caught it before this point right here. But by the time we got right here, we have found that we have established a trend line right here and maybe we can draw it up move it up a little bit like right there all right so we have a trend line so now that we have identified our trend line this tells us exactly when to buy into a stock or buy into in this case the spy so this was when we realized okay that was a this is a strong trend line all right, so the next opportunity we got was right here. We came right here, broke it a little bit, and had you bought at the trend line, you would have been able to ride up $7, up to 701 Assuming you bought contracts two weeks out, uh, I believe at the money would be about $500 from what I just looked at. I encourage you to look at the options profit calculator. Even if you only expect it to go halfway, which this full move, the full move is from trend line to trend line is about $14. So yeah, looking for a target of $7 is not bad. So it did exactly that. It hit the trend line, went $7. All right, we pretty much get another hit right here. You don't get a perfect one. But you come over here pretty much to the trend line. Say you made an entry right here. It's another opportunity for another $6 run. And we just hit another one right here. And we've, we're currently still in it. And as of right now, we're at another $7 run. Looking at the point of entry and how long it takes, going from here to here so the entry for this one would have been friday and the exit would have been monday so using this strategy two weeks of time so you don't have to worry about iv you don't have to worry about theta and all that crushing you because the contracts have more time on them you're not going to make as much on them but you have more time to feel more comfortable in these plays to the point where you don't have to watch them so for instance if we hit this let's say i actually wanted to plan out a trade. If I did that, I would do something like this. Hold up. Let me actually get rid of these so I can actually do something that I would find to be realistic. So I said we wanted to target about $7 from where we entered. We entered right there. Uh, okay. So $7 about right here. Let's actually say, let's shoot for six fifty because it was about $13. Okay, me looking at where I'm going to put my stop loss, the next kind of key level where I would, we have some liquidity right here. I would put it a little past that, 
that's where my stop loss would be. So once again, these contracts have two weeks of time on them, so I'm not as worried about it going against me. And in this instance, the risk to reward ratio is 1.5, and you're not going to be down anywhere near it as much as you would be up just because you have more time on your contracts. You just learned a solid, simple, easy money strategy, but you may want to use the options profit calculator to figure out which contract is the best. Be sure to check out this video right here to make sure you know how to do that. If you enjoyed the video and learned anything, be sure to smash the like button. If for some reason you're new here and haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And last, but certainly not least, Matthew Manuel signing off and I want to change your life.